Hello everyone, my name is Fabiana and I want to welcome you to the Florian Y Atelier online classes. I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful cold porcelain or how you call here air dry clay doll in this class. We will show you all the molds and tools we'll be using. This clay doll is perfect for hair bowls, uh, card holders, party giveaways and many, many other projects. Okay, so let's start. We will be using this head mold from ADD together with the ADD dress mold using this cavity over here. And we also going to use the AKK teddy bear mold using this teddy bear over here. We use cold porcelain clay, no as air dry clay in the peach skin color. They're available on our website also with the molds. But remember, you can use the brown skin tones or uh, for African-American dolls or any clay of your choice, like Fimo or Sculpey, okay? I don't use any oils or lotions for the mold, but if you prefer, you can use a smear of a baby oil or lotion in it. Knead the doll well and place it the inside the head cavity, like this. I like to use my hands to do it. I press firmly with my fingers, also with my hand. I like to use this bottom part of my hand over here to make sure it's flat. Uh, but you can also use an acrylic row. You can gently press the sides of your mold softly so you can remove the head easier. And after you're done, you can use your fingers to fixate the door around the head. Okay, to make the mount, I use this little tool here that has a U shape at the end, pressing firmly at the center of the bottom part of the head a few times in removing it. Okay, it's not easy, uh, it's not difficult, it's very easy. For the eyes, okay, I place the hand here. We're gonna be using the eyes uh, 420p from MNC. Okay, any color you want. I start placing the eyes on the very edge of the little mouth we just made, lining up the eyes and mouth like this over here. Okay. Use your tool to press the eyes inside so it's deep inside the dough. And uh, remember to reserve the head for 24 hours. So it dries very, very well before you use. For the body, we are going to use a lavender color clay. Still, you can use any color you want. Okay. On this one, I use pink, but I am going to use lavender for the new doll. I need the uh, doll well, the same way we did it before. Okay and uh, place it on the cavity, on the top cavity over here of the dress, okay? Um, make sure you don't uh, uh, pass the line of the dress because you're gonna be using another color for the skirt. So use your finger to fix it, okay? For the skirt, I am going to be using a uh, dark uh, royal blue, but you can use a dark blue color or any color you use. You see this one, I use a different color blue. Also, the color changes when the clay dries. Okay, so make sure you remember that. Knead uh, the clay uh, well and place it on this uh, cavity over here, okay? Pressing well so all the pieces uh, blend together, okay? Remove it from your mold and cut the excess piece. I use a scissors to cut this excess piece forming this skirt, um, this skirt uh, format, okay? Um, I use this uh, tool over here to make sure, you know, it's smooth the ends of the skirt to don't leave any marks and look, um, it looks well. You can use your fingers to open the skirt so it looks better, okay, and reserve the piece again. 
for the legs i'm gonna use the same color dough as i used for the hand and I'm gonna place inside this cavity over here okay i like to make them separately from the dress i think it looks nicer i repeat the process on both legs using my fingers so the dough doesn't pass the line okay of the skirt so you have the right size legs for your dolls use your fingers to fix it you know press gently the mold and remove it i use white glue pay attention it's not school glue or any other glue because my dough is still wet and i place the legs pressing uh gently okay the legs on the glue um gently but firmly okay fixing the legs on the skirt so it's uh well done I cut about two to three millimeters of the foot off because I'm gonna be doing separate shoes for this clay. I fix with my tool over here to make sure it's round. No excess clay, it's over, okay? And I reserve. For the teddy bear, we're going to be filling up this cavity over here. I am going to use a light brown clay. Uh, just pay attention so when you put the clay, it's not uh, passing the line of the mold. You don't want to create any bold or fat pieces. So you can use your finger to really press well or an acrylic roll, okay? Then use uh, your fingers to remove the teddy bear. I use this little plastic knife over here to make sure to uh, fix the, uh, the lines. I use on the arms, on the legs, on the neck, just to make sure it's separated and uh, it creates clean lines on the teddy bear. I also use this tool over here to make the edges soft and roundish so the teddy bear looks smooth and nice and reserve it okay now uh we're gonna be putting i did this piece last night okay so this piece is dry i did that so it's fast to teach this class today okay um we reserve pieces for 24 hours so uh, now that it's dry, I'm going to use this galvanized wire over here, okay? I have my pieces already cut inside this jar, but I am going to um, give you the link where to buy the pieces. It's about one inch, one inch pieces. You're going to make a hole with the wire here. You're going to use a um fast dry glue like crazy glue or e6000 you're gonna put just a drop inside a little hole you made and you're gonna press the wire down about about half inch on the skirt okay um you're gonna do the same thing on the hand you're gonna make a hole you're gonna uh, be careful not to uh, make it too close to the edge over here okay place a tiny bit of glue inside the hole and then you can fit in the wire inside the hand and press firmly so it, the head and the body is together okay reserve so it dries well and let's move on um, to make the other pieces of the dress you we're gonna make this little tiny piece over here and the top Okay, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this piece. Um, for Get a tiny piece of the same dough you use. Knead the dough well and press it on a very clean space on your table using the hands or, or acrylic roll. Use the scissors to cut a tiny square piece Okay, that you're going to be placing on top of the lavender shirt like this. Press it gently, okay, so you fix the top piece on the skirt. I use the knife to make clear lines over here, okay. Press gently, fix around your clay and reserve. Now let's use the same piece of the dough, uh, the leftover dough, 
to make um, these stripes that we're going to be using on the waist and um, around the arms, okay? Make a very tiny piece, okay? Very, very skinny piece uh, like this and place it around the waist like this, okay? Cut the excess and press firmly but gently so you don't lose the shape, okay? For the leftover uh, piece, make it thinner, okay, for the arms. And you're going to start right on the square over here, right on the edge of the square, passing underneath the hand and going all the way, ending on the beginning of the skirt in the back. You're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Um, start on the edge over here, passing around the neck underneath the head and finishing right where the skirt begins on the back. Press it firmly. Okay, fix. Use your fingers to soft any marks or anything left and reserve. Okay. Now we are going to do the arms. Okay, make sure you use the same um, clay you use for the skirt i am going to use the top cavity over here that it's a flat arm uh, knead the dough well place it inside remove any excess press with your fingers you know remove it make this process twice okay as you need two arms so here you go we make another one remove any excess of the clay and uh, remove it from the mold and reserve okay for the hands i'm gonna use the same clay as i used for the head and the legs okay i'm gonna take a tiny piece and make two little balls proportional to the arm size uh, to place it on the edge of the arms, okay? I'm going to use this one and press it gently against the arm, okay? Uh, the I'm going to do this twice, another little ball over here. And I'm going to place it on the arm, on the fat edge of the arm, okay? The skinner part is to glue on the dress, um doing that we're gonna be using um the this mold over here you can use any mold you have at home okay i like to use this cavity over here to do the shoes because it's a sneaker i am going to use the white clay i want to do a white sneaker Okay, I'm going to knead the dough well, like I did with the other pieces. Place inside the cavity over here. Okay, we're going to do this twice. So I'm going to place it inside the cavity. Remove any excess. Fix it with my fingers. And remove it from the mold. Um, you know, fix it. Oops, sorry. Fix it around over here. I'm going to make this twice, as I need two shoes. So I'm going to do the same thing, fixing with my fingers and remove it from the mold. Okay, now I'm going to use the instant glue. I'm going to place just a little drop on the edge here on the end of the legs so I can glue the shoes on it. I'm going to place the shoes in the doll, pressing firmly, but not too much, okay, so you don't make the leg shorter. You can also uh, press the doll upwards on your tabletop to make sure it's flat. Fix it around a little bit and reserve your doll. Now we're going to make the paint on the dress. I like to use this uh, plastic cap over here, okay. I like to use white acrylic paint. Um, I'm going to open up. I also like to use a very hard brush. As you can see here, it's very hard. Okay. I'm going to just uh, put a little bit of the white on the tip of the brush. 
I am going to use this cap over here to remove any excess paint because I want to have very, very little on my brush, okay? And then I'm gonna brush the dress uh, like I'm creating dirt on the dress, okay? I don't wanna have any excess paint on my brush because I don't wanna paint the dress white. So I remove all the excess here, okay? And brush it against the dress, just creating this jeans kind of uh, appearance on my doll, okay? So here you go. Just make sure you brush it any way you want, okay? I don't do any lines, I don't do any design, I just brush it against. And here you have the jeans look on your doll. Finishing that, we're gonna take the black acrylic paint, okay? I use um, a triple A, uh, I'm sorry, a triple O brush that has a very, very tiny edge. I started on the very edge of the resin eyes and brush up like this. On the edge and brush up. On the edge and brush up. Okay, you can do as many as eyelashes you want. I'm going to stick with three for this doll and um, brush up like this. Okay, and then for the eyebrows, I start where this uh, the round part of the eyes is and brush it um, out. Okay, creating like a half circle. Um, eyebrow. It's about three millimeters away from the eyes. Done that, you are going to glue the arms on the doll. Just a small uh, drop of the instant uh, glue and you're going to press the arms against the dress. Make sure your arm is not uh, all dried up because you need to shape it around the dress. Do the same on the other way, uh, on the other side. Get your arms and place where the glue is and then shape the arm around the dress like that. Okay. Fix it, make sure it's well glued if you need to fix and reserve. I am going to use this blush uh, it's specifically used for air clay dolls. I like to use this round um, brush. Uh, you don't need much. You can also use makeup brush, uh, makeup blush on your doll. Okay. I do on a circle way on my doll, so it looks nice and circled. Okay. Use as much as you want. I don't like to use too much. You notice that my brush is very round and it's hard. It's not a soft brush. It's a hard brush, okay? And I uh, use that to apply the blush into your doll, just like that, okay? Let's close this. Now that your doll is done, okay, we are going to uh, do the hair. I like to use this mold over here, okay, to do it, but you can do it manually or you can use any mold you have at home. I am going to use the dra uh, dark brown clay, okay, to do the hair. Um, so I have the air dry clay over here. I'm gonna knead well so I can make the hair well. I'm gonna use this cavity over here, okay? And I am firmly gonna press the air dry clay, removing any excess over here, using my hands as I told you because it leaves uh, the piece very flat and I am going to remove it from the mold. Then I'm gonna place the, ha uh, the doll on top, placing, you know, centering the doll with the head and using my fingers to press the hair on the doll around the head, 
okay fixing like this and reserve for these pieces over here on the side i'm gonna do them manually okay i am going to roll a tiny piece of the clay you don't need to make it too thick you don't need to make it too tiny okay uh, i like to make around this size i press with my my hand so it's flat so i'm gonna cut a piece and place it um starting on the right on your right side okay and going all around the hand and then i curl the end over here like this okay press it firmly so it really attaches to the hand and we're gonna do the second piece same thing oops let's clean here and circle around i'm gonna remove it right now let's see yeah i'm gonna remove a piece over here and circle the edge around the end you know the end over here and uh, press firmly okay I am going to do two more pieces for the other side, same way as I did the previous two. Using my hands, I'm gonna knead the dough on the table. I am gonna flat it up a little bit. Using my hands. And um, we're gonna place this around the hand. So I take a piece of the dough, okay? Make sure it's nice. And I am going to start on the very end, uh, end of where we finished the other head, uh, hair. And we're going to roll it, pressing up. And here you go. I'm going to do one more piece. Same way. Okay. Starting the front or the back, whatever you feel it's better. Okay. I'm going to circle the end press well so it's firm and here you go reserve okay now i'm gonna do the fridge the fringe i'm sorry um do the same as i did before i'm gonna start right over here okay and go on top of the other two hairs all the way to the back okay pressing firmly so i created this little piece fringe over here now that we have done that we're gonna create uh, the um, hairband that it's in top of the hair piece i'm gonna use the same color you see the hairband over here i'm gonna use the same color as i use for uh the shirt uh, just because of my opinion it looks nicer I'm gonna create a very very thin piece okay following the same way I did this piece over here on the skirt cut a little piece and place it around the head so it stays nicely and then I press it you see gently press it against the hair okay fix it up a little bit make sure it's curly and it stays on the right spot and reserve then i'm gonna use this mold over here you can use any mold you want at home i like this big bowl okay i just think it looks nicer so i'm gonna use this big bowl cavity and make a nice bowl for the doll Press it with your fingers. You can gently press the mold around the piece so it's easier to remove. Okay, I'm gonna use the instant glue, whatever you have at home, E6000 or crazy glue, just a drop. And then I'm gonna press sideways on my doll. Okay, I like a little bit sideways. Um, and then I fix the edges over here. And here you go. It's a beautiful clay doll, okay? 
Um, now we're gonna reserve this and we're gonna work on the teddy bear. I also gonna make a little bow, a little hair bow for the teddy bear. But first we're gonna use a toothpick to make the eyes and nose with the black acrylic uh, paint. Okay, I like to use a toothpick. I just makes it easier. I dip my toothpick inside the paint and press it against the clay doll to make the eyes okay and then i use the sideways uh the toothpick sideways to make the little snout the little nose on the teddy bear then i'm gonna use this mold here to make a very tiny piece uh hair bow for the bear okay i want to make a very tiny bow for the bear it's just a little little tiny one and um once I remove it from the mold, you see, note it's a very tiny piece and I am going to place it with the instant glue in front of the ear of my bear. There we go. And I'm just going to gently press. Okay. Reserve. Now I'm going to take the doll. I'm going to place a tiny bit of the instant glue on the arm close to the hands. You can get a little bit on the dress too. And then I'm going to place oops, the teddy bear on the doll like this. Press it gently, of course. Be careful so you don't get your fingers on the wet paint, uh, the eyes and the nose on the teddy bear. Okay, fix up a little bit. And here you have your doll. It's a perfect clay doll, air dry clay doll. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, you can see this was the piece I did yesterday in pink. This is the piece I did today. Uh, it's going to dry. It changes a little bit the color. Okay, it's going to shrink a little bit as well. I hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you very much. And follow our link below for all the materials used. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <music>